That was the biggest thing. If you're built growing a business, you got to have a mentor. If you don't have a mentor, it's, you're going to be lonely. And your mentor can't be your wife or your spouse or your children. They don't care about that. They care about dad being dad. So you got to find a mentor and you got to find somebody that you can call up and just go, oh, I'm just going to curse like crazy. Can you just listen? Don't say anything. Yeah. All right. Then they would always say, my mentor would say, so now what did you learn? I'm like, oh, crap. Oh, I got an idea. And I'd run in and write it all down and implement it. So it's tough, but it's so rewarding. It's so rewarding yeah. when you see it come to life. Yeah, entrepreneurship is not easy, but we would not exchange it for anything else. <laughs> so that's the flow. Yeah, absolutely. So let me ask you this, Cameron. When you said that initially when you tried the, the SMS ad, it did not work out, it didn't work for you, then you had to tweak. What exactly did you tweak? Was it messaging? What changed that got you in the position to go approach your client and say, hey, we're ready for you. Like, what did you do to make it work? A uh, great question. I did not, what I didn't realize was I didn't have permission to engage somebody on via text message. And I'm not talking about FCC. I'm not talking about any of that. What I'm talking about is I would send these lengthy messages, right? So we'll try this first message. Hey, I see that you fill out this form. This is my name, so-and-so with this company, blah, blah, blah. It was just garbage, 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 right? And the reason is because of your text messages on your phone, I was trying to correlate the message we were sending as if we were already good friends and we already had a relationship with each other. So I'm like, oh, this isn't working. They, they didn't respond to that at all. So then we dialed it back. Let's try two lines. No, let's try one line. And then the, the former CMO that we had, he came up to me and said, hey, I got an idea. I'm like, all right. He's like, I just got this text message from my insurance agent. And it just said, hey, my name. And I'm like, okay. And goes, did you respond to it? He goes, I just said, who is this? Or I gave him emoji or gave him whatever. And then a message came back and said, this is so-and-so. I'm reaching out for this. And then, oh, okay. Yeah, what, go ahead. And so that's what we, we did was we played with this. So the first three things that we would send out, it would just say, hey, Cam, or hey, Cameron. I get Hello, those Cameron. Are... Yep. Hey, Cameron. And so people, we had a 90% return we, they call it concept but it was response and the emoji a lot of it was emojis a lot of it was the middle finger which was awesome and so we would say this is so and so regarding your free quote or your free solar quote and they and then would, oh yes i just filled that out perfect i need to ask you some qualifying questions is that okay and so then we were getting into yeses yes is your name this yes you live here yes perfect you know, and then we did get them all the way down and they were like, hey, for quality assurance, I need to verbally have this over the phone. I'm going to give you, you're going to get a phone call from the same number. Is that okay? It, this phone call is 90 seconds. Are yeah. you sure? Yes. Yes. Go ahead and call me. Boom. And we would call them. And that's what it absolutely exploded. So I built out an entire texting team. We had 12 texters that were handling 20 to 30 conversations at a time. A lot of it was just, you know, if then on that, we called it AI, but it really wasn't. It was just if then, if they said this, we would send this out, but that's what exploded. But yeah, the first two iterations of that were awful, but it grew. So it's positioning, you're positioning <laughs> to, and asking for permission to get to the next step. And if you get Correct. the permission, you engage again. And again, bare minimum needed to bypass to go to the next step. So you're not trying to sell mm -hmm. the whole thing at once. It's gradual through each milestone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. The worst, uh, for those of you that are in sales, those of you who are listening to this and want to go through some training, as a salesperson or as somebody you're texting, never ever, we used to say, there's something worse than saying the F word in sales, which is, hey, how's your day going? It's the worst thing to say. The brain is already conditioned to say, okay, even though it'd be horrible, never yeah. ever say, hey, how's your day going? Hey, boss, how's it going? Hey, chief. Hey, darling. No. Now, all parts of the country, they're used to that type of language. I get it. But if you ask me, hey, how's your day going? 